New research has identified what may be the earliest chemical traces of life on Earth found in 3.33 billion year old rocks from South Africa. Now the challenges that scientists usually face is after billions of years, original biological molecules are often heavily altered. Traditional geochemical techniques usually can confirm life in only rocks younger than about 1.6 billion years. Beyond that, the organic matter is too degraded to classify reliably. So in order to extend this boundary, researchers analyzed 406 samples, including modern biological materials, ancient rocks, meteorites, and synthetic organic mixtures. All the samples were processed using pyrolysis gas chromatography. Basically, it's a way that they can break down organic matter into molecular fragments that can then be measured. Each sample generated hundreds of thousands of data points. And because this data set was way too complex for manual interpretation, the team trained supervised machine learning models, specifically random forest classifiers, to distinguish between biogenic and abiogenic chemistry, and also between photosynthetic and non-photosynthetic origins. Accuracy on the known test samples ranged from around 93 to 100% depending on the category, therefore making it very reliable. Now, when these models were applied to ancient rocks, they found several key findings. First, they found organic matter in 3.3 billion year old rocks in Joseph Dow's chert, consistently classified as biogenic and not abiogenic. They also found some samples, which were 2.5 billion years old, from Gamohan formations, showing strong photosynthetic-like signatures, aligning with independent geological evidence for microbial mats and shallow water ecosystems during that period. These results are pretty groundbreaking, as they suggest that supervised machine learning can reliably detect life-derived chemical signatures much deeper in geological time than previously possible, potentially all the way back to the Paleoarchaean era. The study also demonstrates how AI can support geochemical interpretations by identifying patterns in data sets too large for traditional analysis. What do you think about this research? Let me know in the comments below. Like, comment, share, follow, and I'll see you in the next one.